The series began back last summer with a mystery. A suspicious video had appeared on YouTube. Hi, I'm Mark. I want to share with everyone out there an experience I went through recently in the fight for gay rights, for human rights. It was hurtful and even a little heartbreaking. I've been active in the gay rights movement since college. I heard a lot of stories about flotillas and convoys from Europe trying to reach the Gaza Strip. The names of the group sounded impressive. Viva Palestina, Free Gaza Movement, IHH Humanitarian Relief. I thought, this is something I want to be part of. So I decided to contact one of these groups based out of London. I sent them an email. I explained that I lead a network of gay rights activists and that we'd love to bring some pride to the next flotilla. After about a month, I get a short email from the London group saying that the participation of my LGBT network would not be possible since it would not be in the overall interests of the flotilla. I was surprised and a bit insulted. Who are these people? Unlike most homemade YouTube videos, there seemed to be a second unit getting B-roll of Mark Pax in the corner of the room and following him down the street. So I decided to check his story out with the Free Gaza movement in London. We're the only ones with a, in the flotilla with a, an office in London. So it would have had to have been yeah. you? If he's contacted London, then he's, he would have come through here. And if not, an email from nope. him? No, and I, I had checked all the Free Gaza email accounts. He hasn't, he hasn't contacted us at all. And, if, and if, I'd, if I'd replied to it, I certainly would have remembered, but I wouldn't have replied in those terms. And if a lesbian and gay group did contact you, would you have said that it wasn't in the best interest of no, the Lucilla to have them on board? Wouldn't. No, of course I wouldn't. Do you know who's behind this? I haven't looked into it. I know that uh, it was the link to it was tweeted by various Twitter accounts that came from the Israeli government. Uh, okay. We're not the only people interested in discovering Mark Pax's real identity. A pro-Palestinian group called Electronic Intifada has been doing its own investigation and has somehow just discovered that he can be briefly witnessed in a commercial for an energy drink called XL. There he is. Good to see him. Just briefly, yes. Oh, oh God. He's grinning while bashing a Muslim woman over the head. A week later, following a lead from Electronic Intifada, I tracked down an acquaintance of the man. She's a Jerusalem Post reporter named Orit Arfa. I'm curious what your interest in this is. I'm interested, I want to I wanna try and find out whether he was doing it alone or whether he had some kind of government support. Ah. What, like, what... What difference would it make either way? Well, if he was doing it alone, well, it does make a difference. I think there's a lot of hunger in, in Miss the Pro-Israel camp for, for creative um, ways to, to defend Israel. What do you think of that? It's just a commercial for that drink, I mean, you know. Nothing really to comment on. It's nine months later. The series is coming to an end and I feel I need to tie up the loose ends. Who was the man in the video? His real name, it turns out, is Omer Gershon. Well, um, around a year ago, a friend from the States called me and said, listen, I want to do this short thing about the flotilla and you know what the flotilla is and all. And what and did you say? I said, he said, you're fluent in English, why won't you help? And I'm like, no problem. He said, I want to show it to some friends in the States. What, what was, so his intention, he said to you, this video, I'm just going to show it to a few friends. I'm going to show it in the States for a couple of, I don't know, a couple of people, a couple of organizations. So you thought it was going to be like in a public presentation, in like a presentation in I, some private yes, yes, conventions? I, I didn't know it's going to be like yeah. this, yeah. Did you imagine yourself just like in a convention, in like a conference room? Being Probably, on the yeah, being shown and being explained. Uh -huh. Did he say who he was going to show it to? No, and I didn't bother asking. So where, where did you film it? In my house. And how many people were in the room? 
because at the beginning of the video you lean forward to turn the camera on yeah but then a minute later there's clearly some other people in the corner of the room filming you <laughs> you know it's just my friend in the camera it wasn't like a crew it wasn't a movie it wasn't anything we didn't i of course didn't think that it's gonna you know become such a big mess i thought he's gonna show it to some friends and yeah. i didn't know they're gonna use it for that so what did you think it was gonna be i seriously i didn't think much of it mm -hmm. i'm sorry i maybe maybe it was a blonde moment but i do so many things i wasn't i, I, I do tons of stuff so i did it as a favor and afterwards i just didn't didn't yeah. think of it until it went on, on, on youtube right on over so your friend in america that was so it was his idea yeah and who is he? He's a friend. He's, an, he's more of an activist because I... So a gay, a gay rights activist? Yeah. Okay. And I'm not an activist much. You know, there's lots of rumours that the Israeli government was involved in the video somehow. I wish that they... I, and I don't wish, no. Let me stand correct. But they said in... A, I read comments that I'm an actor and I got paid and I was an actor in the service of the, of the, of the government. Which is such a big ball. It was a year ago, and now you're here. So, why? Why, why did it all happen? Because I, I, from what I understood is that my friend sent it to another friend of his that works at the Prime Minister office, and he... In Israel? Yes, and he put it in, in, on their website, and then it became a whole big mess. Omar says he's annoyed with his American friend for putting the video out. He says he knows it's full of lies, but he stands behind the lies. You never called the Free Gaza movement in London and asked to be on board the ship? Me specifically yeah. not. So that's just, that, that thing just wasn't true? No, but my friend called him, I didn't. He said he called him, yeah. What's his name? Oh, I'm not going to tell you. I can't. When you said it, so I phoned the Free Gaza movement and, and they said, oh, you know, we don't let people... On board. Did a, little, did a bit of you feel like a bit embarrassed that you were saying things that just that weren't true from your perspective? A friend of mine did it and I said it. I didn't feel wrong because mm. it wasn't me, it was him who called. So, I mean, I don't see the difference. But if, if a gay person phoned the Free Gaza office in London and said, we want to get involved, I'm sure they'd let them on board. I'm sure they would. I would be very happy and surprised to see you know what? I would love to see a bunch of gays with shorts and a gay flag on a flotilla entering Gaza. Would love. We'd probably be shot on board, but I would love to see that. Right. I just got a, an email from a friend with a short movie from Iran about this gay guy being skewed from his rectum to up to his shoulder by a big skewer um, in the city square for being gay. And, and, it's, and it just put him on the skewer. He was up in the air. And it, it takes, it's the most painful way to die because it goes through your intestines and it takes hours. In Israel, it's not an offense. It's not a criminal offense to be gay. It's not a criminal offense to sleep. When a man sleeps with other men, I don't see parents going out and celebrating it. But again, it's a, Tel Aviv is a gay paradise, literally. You can leave here peacefully and there's no, I don't, I've never had any encounter with um, any hate towards me. When was the last time you watched the video? Ooh, long, when it came up I think, I haven't seen it in a while. So when you saw yourself, what did you think? That I looked fat. Yes, I am that cello.